Hi there, this is Hans Forschner with Nefkin Engineering. A quick video on Soundplan Essential version 2.0. We are going over importing spot elevations and importing aerial maps. The project is already set up. Uh, it's set up uh, for industrial and uh, road noise sources. And actually, we'll set it up with uh, two combinations, one with road and then one with uh, in the industry, and then maybe later on we combine these two sources. All right. Um, the first step is I'm going into the editor. I will import spot elevation, and then after that we'll import an aerial map into this project. So I'll select the spot elevations, go file. The data is available in a DXF format. So if you have ASCII or S3 shapefile, the same thing. In this case, just DXF. I select the uh, DXF file. So DXF stands for Data Exchange Format. We have multiple layers. In this case, only one layer. We select the layer we want to import. We click OK. And then, because we have it selected as points, it imports, imports point objects, in this case, spot elevation. Here we have our spot elevations. We can get uh, a site uh, on the site here. This table shows us all the spot elevations that were imported. At this point, we can um, run the, the calculation to generate a digital ground model. This will be important so that we, as we enter objects like roads, uh, buildings, uh, receivers, the program already knows the elevation in the project area. So we go start. There's a quick triangulization of the uh, spot elevation. If we had elevation lines, they would be also be incorporated. The uh, interpolation goes also to four points outside the area. So the program basically extrapolates from these points out to these points out here what the elevations are outside this area. So I'll zoom in back here. And the next step is we go edit and we go initialize bitmap. So if you have an aerial bitmap from something like uh, Bing, uh, Google, Google Earth, uh, Google, uh, yeah, Google Earth, Google Maps, you can save away bitmap files as long as you have at least at a minimum two points uh, that can be um, uh, located on the aerial map. In this case, uh, this is an elementary school. Um, we copy that. In this case, we have already two points uh, that are uh, cross-referenced. In this case, the bottom right and the bottom left uh, corner. And we have world coordinates right here in UTM. So that means that's metric ele elevation or metric data. Um, so with two points, uh, this bitmap is uh, defined in the two-dimensional plane. Uh, so we have here, we see uh, the, the building, the elementary school, with uh, where we will put an HVAC system on the top. And then we have adjacent uh, community receptors. So we click OK. And uh, we can turn on this uh, aerial map. And uh, this is our first step in developing uh, this noise model. Thank you.